got this dronester in the air so we can take a look at everything that just happened, our game plan, and kind of an idea on how it worked here. You can see how much of this uh, is all drifted in here. Let's yeah, go. Wow. All right, so now we're recording. So here you can see how much of this is all drifted in. Uh, we'll go ahead and fly that. I mean, some of those trees are 20, 30 foot tall. You can see there's eight to 10 foot of snow in that. Yeah. And there's definitely a lot more drifting than when we were here last time. A lot more. And drifting. some of the drifts are pretty solid and you could walk on them. And then some of them weren't and you would sink down, you know, thigh high or higher. Uh, trying to work your way through some of those drifts. So it was it was a tough walk for sure. All right, we are going up and we're going to set up down here so you can see the entire piece that we just worked. And then we'll explain what our plan was and talk a little bit about how it didn't work today. So to start, we had eight of us to be able to uh, work this piece of property. And three of us walked it, the rest of us blocked it. So now you can see here on the far right side of the screen, that's a big mature shelter belt. And it's all drifted in. <laughs> it's all drifted in. There's a food plot next to it that's all drifted in. And then there's a, a kind of curved line of cedars that's all drifted in. To the left of that is a pond and cattails that are all drifted in. And then coming clear out here to the left over the pond dam, there is another... A couple food plots that come around it and make its way out the end there. And that is all drifted in. All drifted in. So now we have a pretty good visual of everything going on here. And you can see that we had blockers set up basically that cut through the shelter belt. And we had, so we had blockers at each end of the shelter belt. We had a blocker kind of where that curved bunch of cedars comes out to the left. And then we ran all the way around, and that's literally, um, we kind of had to run all the way around where you can see at the bottom of the screen here, uh, where those food plots come in. And there were birds right where the edge of the pond kind of makes that corner, which is right in the middle of the screen right now. But birds started to go out in the field there and then ended up going back into the cattails. So we made, three of us made it all the way down to the end. We split at the pond and then we're able to work those cattails on each side of that pond with dogs. Um, Cause that's really where those birds will like to hold pretty tight. Um, especially when it's snowed in like this. Um, we got a, a few birds worked, got one rooster out of there, I think, and a few hens. Mm -hmm. But all in all, we worked around that pond, we worked up, and there were birds all holed up. There were a few birds came out of the cattails, but most of the birds were all holed up in that thick shelter bell. Which and isn't exactly what we were expecting. No, it was not. But we it expecting. was good because we had a couple blockers um, along the road that's on the outside of that shelter belt there, on the right side of the screen, that really thick, um, mature that. shelter belt. And they were able to pick up a few birds that got out that direction when we finally finished our walk around the pond. Then we pushed through the Milo and helped the dogs get in those um, drifted up shelter belt and find some birds for us. Now, once we were able to work through, and we're going to do a little buzz over here. Once we were able to work through that, we did in fact get a few birds out of there. The blockers were in a good position and we were able to get a few birds shot. Ultimately though, the snow in this situation, you can see how much snow there actually was here, um, really cut down on the amount of cover and habitat for the birds to hide in, which is ultimately what prevented us from seeing as many birds as we have in the past. I mean, they, they were probably, they yeah, just they just weren't, weren't there. there. There's probably a quarter of the birds that we saw last time, yeah. maybe. Yeah, and there was very few birds in the entire property between the shelter belt, which usually holds some, and definitely, definitely fewer birds that were in the um, food plots and around the pond. The cattails didn't have much either. So, mm -mm. which which happens. I mean, you make a game plan, you execute it, and things don't always go according to plan, or you think you've got an idea of what you're going to be in for, and then you get in it and you go, whoa, there's a lot more snow in here than we thought. So, changes things. But... 
This is just one more um, one more hunt that we did, kind of how we set it up with walkers and blockers and ultimately how it went. Didn't go poorly, just didn't go exactly to plan. And again, folks, that's hunting. If you have any questions about what we did here or suggestions for how we should do it differently next time, throw it in the comments below. But until then, this is Ethan and Kat signing off. Thank you.